scientists have a few answers as the dark energy anomaly known as the Scourge limits travel and communication in the cluster. This is HNS. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Hijack's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the Exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Kandros. He likely has security footage, some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Nothing more for now. See you later. Pathfinder, thanks for helping Raj and Zara find Atkins. He's not getting out of Ryder, for a can while. you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. You really did miss her while you were gone, huh? I really did. Cash can handle herself just fine, but it's still good to be nearby, just in case. All right, divert some power from the lower deck. Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but you know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Anything else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Huh, this file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait, is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help you. Normally, don't I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. I do not recognize the location from any current data. We Let's go confront him. as well as you'd expect. So much violence. Ryder, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running Colonial Affairs. Running Colonial Affairs? I thought you were the Assistant Director. 
That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off? What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. A reminder to all personnel, overtime hours remain in effect. uprising as security tightens across all sectors on the Nexus. Director Tan stresses that it's, quote, for your safety. This is HNS. Ryder, could we talk a moment? Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains? Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could... Somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained, and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be.
I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> when did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager... Let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist... Convinced me even more. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. swear words. Really? That's what you asked him about? A completely different tech base and you start there. You want to talk to yours? Sure. I want to know. <sighs> Need something? How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Why do you sort them that way? Just easier for me to see patterns in behavior. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. How's Cora doing? Cora's commando training makes her think Asari have all the answers. Just because we live longer doesn't mean we can't screw up. It just means we have more time to make mistakes. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back. I'll be here if you need me. Bitcoin channels are ready, Pathfinder. Commander? Pathfinder. Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures, your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You went out of your way to free that sign sting. A selfless act. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Aya's vault. Joel says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? I'd like this to be the beginning of a strong relationship. Keep your promises, and little by little, our bond might grow. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special Kent facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to that program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. What I meant was, let our scientists help with your program. Let my team join your effort. Hmm. Let's up the chance for success. I'm offering. You should accept. Very well. I'm not stupid, and I love the Moshai. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. The team will meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the Ket facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. Jal said he wanted to see you. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles. Ruined world, no home in sight, everyone's getting toasty. 
There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right, I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie frustrated by procedure? That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Traditional is a weird term for family. Like normal. Who's that describe? I suppose you're right. I sure didn't keep to tradition. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai. <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <sighs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars that would give you an idea. When Aksul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant or anything. Except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Aksul's not the type to follow orders. And uh, I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Aksul. <laughs> I admire your courage, but Aksul's dangerous, and he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havaro who escaped with Aksul from the Ket. Her name is Tholdir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Aksul is very cunning. <sighs> My mothers are worried sick about the cousins that joined him. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? You studied with Moshai Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She is... Beloved, I love her. People are willing to die for her. She sounds pretty special. She is. I hope you get to know her. Well, enough about that. What's your story, Jal? Tell me about yourself. 
Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. I was born on Earth, third planet of the Sol system in the Milky Way. I was born on Haval, uh, our most ancient homeworld. We believe so, anyway. Move to Aya, first chance you got? I lived there because of the Vassal. It's a privilege to work on Aya, so we have a lottery to share it. Aya reminds me of Earth, a little. I'll show you vids sometime. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the Resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Aya is a wonder writer, and the Angara are so interesting. I hope we make it back. I want to delve and explore and who knows what else. We'll be back. We need the Moshai if we're to get into their vault. Oh, I'm definitely sticking around long enough for that. You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. That ex-friend I mentioned, my accomplice, she finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Ah, there you are. 
gotcha. Now that you got me, what are you gonna do with me? Oh, you've caught me off guard. I'll have to give it some thought. Add it to your task list. See me if you want some suggestions. <sighs> I'll be sure to do that. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. I hear there's a strip version. We will not be doing that. Not how I'd want to get you naked anyway. But believe me, if we played strip poker, you would end up naked. Confidence goes a long way with me. Very sexy. Sexy is good. Serious about cards, though. Sharpens the mind and relaxes at the same time. Next time we pulled up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. The Angara was super curious about the ship. A few were pretty bold. Asked me questions. What do you make of them? They know their shit. Quick-minded, sharp. They'll make good allies. Are you sure you can keep the Scourge damage under control? Never seen anything like the Scourge. What it does to our tech. It's keeping me on my toes, but that's when I do my best work. Don't do me any favors. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. You're in good hands. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Hasn't everyone? Well, then you know. It's super tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation, maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True. They can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. So, what else is new? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Won't know until we talk to those Asari on Eos. Any chance of swinging by? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. take to learn piloting depends how you apply yourself with your mind you'd be adept in a few weeks <laughs> 